Hey ladies, I hope everyone is doing great. It has been just so overwhelming and yet so exciting to get through and go through this first week of the Hidden Joy Bible Study with you. Again, I just want to thank you so much for joining me and joining Wendy with this. Um, this message is something that is so dear to my heart because I know what it feels like to be free and I know what it feels like not to be free. And so I'm just praying for each of you who have joined this study. If you're visiting here for the first time, my name is Melissa Taylor and I am so happy to meet you. Um, just a few things I want to go over today in the vlog. Um, it is Friday, June 3rd. And the first thing I want to talk about are our words for the week. Decide and fear were our two words. Well, ladies, I have just been sitting here reading your comments. Comment after comment after comment after comment. Some of them are so heartbreaking. And I think the great thing is, is I'm so happy that you are sharing honestly and you're expressing your real feelings, no matter how heartbreaking it is, because we got to deal with that first. We have to admit our hurts. We have to know that they're there. And when we share them with others, then we open ourselves up for other people to pray for us, for other people to encourage us. And that's exactly what has happened on this vlog. And I'm so proud of you. You've decided to share. You've decided to take a risk and give this a chance. But ladies, we have to move out of fear. We don't want to stay in this pit. We don't want to keep talking about how sad and hopeless we are. You might feel hopeless today, but you joined this Bible study so that you would move out of hopelessness and into hope and healing. So fear is going to hang out as long as we allow it. So I want to encourage you to start kicking fear in the rear. That's right. I said it. Kick the fear in the rear. There is no room for fear here. We're just not going to entertain it. And when we feel it coming back, that's when we have to drop to our knees and pray. Ask our sisters to pray. We're going to move from fear to fearless. We're going to get out of this victim mode and move from victim to victorious. But we have to decide that, um, that we're going to do that. And one of the first places to um, decide to move out of being a victim is to make a change. And the change I want you to really concentrate on making is the way that you talk about yourself, the way that you think about yourself. You may not even feel it yet, but instead of talking about yourself so poorly, start talking about yourself in a better way. Um, I've read on here from a few of you where you'll say something like, nobody cares about me, or I don't really matter to others. Well, I just want to tell you that is a great big fat lie because you, somebody does care about you and you do matter. Um, you have one person sitting right here who does care about you and thinks that you matter. Wendy Blight, the author of this Bible study, the author of this book, she wrote Hidden Joy because even though she had never met you, she cared about you and she thinks you matter. The Almighty God, whether you feel it or not, He cares about you and He thinks you matter. But ladies, I know what it does feel like to be a victim. I know what it feels like to be hopeless. And when we're in that position, when we're down so low, it's easy to listen to the lies that are in our head, the lies that tell us we're no good, the shame for maybe what we've done or what was done to us, the, the nightmares, the memories, or um, even the loneliness that you may be feeling. I don't know what your situation is. We all have kind of different things here. But we don't want to listen to those lies. Um, this is going to be kind of crazy, and I get kind of crazy sometimes, but there was a song back in the 80s, and it was by the Thompson Twins, and it's called Lies. I think it's called actually Lies, Lies, Lies. And in this song, they would sing, Lies, 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 get up, they're gonna get you. Lies, 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 get up, they won't forget you. And here, I'll show you what I mean. Not only am I going to sing it for you, but just so you believe me, look at here. So, okay, you get my point. All right, I hope you're awake now. But it's true, the lies, they are going to get you if you keep listening to them and you keep entertaining them in your head. So, I don't want you to do that anymore. And in fact, if I keep hearing the same people going down that pit and staying in that pit and having a pity party, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say what my shirt says. I'm going to say whatever. And in case you don't know what I mean by whatever, I'm going to tell you right now. 
because I got it from God's Word. In Philippians 4.8, it says, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And that's exactly what I want to encourage you to do today. Don't dwell on the things that say that you're not worth anything, that say that you're unvaluable or that you don't have a place here in this world. Those aren't true. Those are the lies. Replace them with whatever. Think about things that are excellent and praiseworthy. Think happy thoughts. Think good things. You know, what we put in our mind determines um, kind of what kind of peace we're going to have. And it also determines our words and our actions. So the more we can keep our mind with those pure thoughts, those positive thoughts, then the better it is going to go down to our heart and even out with our actions. So just want you to practice it even if you don't feel it. You know, um, at the bottom of this um, video, at, there's going to be a link, and it's going to link you to Stephanie Clayton's blog. And on her blog today, um, and if you haven't met Stephanie, you got to go meet her. She's just the cutest little thing. I promise you she's not 10 years old. She is actually an adult. She's also a licensed counselor. Um, she has run support groups and counseled one-on-one -on -one with people, and she's just offered herself up in our study to um, help guide us. And she has come up or put together some things that are thought-stopping techniques. And they're to help you stop those negative thoughts and insert the positive ones. For example, I may be sitting here feeling very lonely and I might just think to myself, Melissa, you are just a big pathetic loser. Well, look, when I think that, I have this rubber band on my wrist. Ouch! I'm going to pop myself. And every time I think something negative or bad about Melissa, about myself, I'm going to pop myself and remind myself, no, Melissa, you are not a big, fat, pathetic loser. No, you are a beautiful child of God, whether you feel like it or not, and there is purpose for your life. And I'm going to dwell on that. And I might even go to God's Word and find a scripture that's going to encourage me, that tells me to trust the Lord with all my heart, to lean on Him and not my understanding, because my understanding can fail me that he's going to make my path straight, that he has a hope and a future for my life, a plan for my life, and um, that he loves me very much. Anyway, I hope you'll click the link below this. Check that out. Get some good thoughts in your head. Keep being real. Keep posting. I love that. I love the way you guys are giving and taking from each other. That's what friends do. That's what friends are for. I hope you're enjoying this Bible study. I hope you will um, try to... Be, come back and visit often. I won't be posting tomorrow. It's my day off. It's my day of rest. But um, there will be a post on Sunday telling you what to expect in week two. So you guys just have a fabulous weekend. I love you. And um, thanks for being a part of the Hidden Joy Bible Study.